reality is a weird place, but whenever something big happens, you can always depend on Hollywood to make a bigger and bolder version of it. Real people get turned into caricatures, small events are made to be bigger than they are, it happens all the time, and giant explosions are never far from the horizon. After all, the movie is supposed to be entertaining for audiences all over the world, right? Boring, mundane real life doesn't sell box office tickets. Here's the thing, though. As they say, sometimes, truth is stranger than fiction. And sometimes, the things that happen in real life are way, way weirder than you would think, to the point where a straightforward description of some historical events, whether in the ancient past or the present day, sound an awful lot like the synopsis for the movie. Whether you're dealing with the dark day of New England, a monkey earning beers for working the railroad, London getting so stinky that nobody can handle it, or a woman who survived three sinking ships, get ready for a couple of mind-blowing events, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Here are super six historical events that sound like fiction, but are actually true. Number one, a monkey is manning the rails. Okay, time for the feel-good movie of the year, about a man and his animal friend. The year is 1881, and a down-on-his-luck train signalman named James Y. is struggling to keep his job, after a terrible accident with a railcar took both his legs. Enter Jack, his new partner. Jack, by the way, is a baboon. Y trains Jack how to push his wheelchair along, and even teaches him to operate the railway signals with Y's assistance. At first, everybody doubts this strange duo, but Jack proves his skill, and the railway ends up employing Jack. This is no monkey business. Fun fact about monkeys. Monkeys are divided into two different groups, Old World Monkeys and New World Monkeys. Old World Monkeys live in Africa and Asia. New World Monkeys live in South America. Number 2. At 9 a.m., a sunny blue sky went black with no warning. Okay, picture it. It's a quiet, lightly cloudy morning. Everything seems fine. You're going about your late 1700s New England life, tending the farms, stretching your limbs, and it's around 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning when suddenly, whoosh, the sky goes dark. Yes, the entire sky. Out of nowhere, a reddish hazy darkness obscures the sun, blanketing the entire sky in darkness at just the time when the sun should be shining. This darkness covers everything from Portland, Maine down to New Jersey, and nobody can explain it. That means, not surprisingly, the religious fanatics begin preaching that the end times have come. And honestly, you kind of believe it. Sounds like a movie, right? However, it really happened. Number 3, The Great Stink of London, in 1858. We are talking some mean B.O. The so-called Great Stink of London might sound humorous, but you try living in a city that reeks of human waste and is likely causing diseases to run rampant and see how long you stay sane. Basically, that summer was so hot that it exacerbated the stench of human sewage, which at that point was being dumped right into the River Thames. Fixing the problem required some serious innovative solutions, but you can bet that nobody there ever forgot about it. Imagine walking down by the boardwalk and looking over and seeing a big piece of dookie. That is something that will haunt you for life. Number 4. The world can't handle a disease. And there has been a fair share of them. The world is filled with tension. Powerful countries are tense with one another. Suddenly, across the world, a disease emerges and breaks out like wildfire. As people fly across the world, the disease spreads like wildfire, causing thousands of deaths. Some countries contain the virus through proactive approaches. Others, like the United States, are woefully unprepared, to the point where they don't even have enough medical equipment or protective gear. People are forced to take refuge in their houses, hoping that a vaccine will be developed. I will be waiting for another one of these movies to come out. Number 5, a 1904 Olympics winner won the race by car. That is just not right. What, you expected the Olympics to be a beautiful ceremony, filled with heart-pounding moments and grand achievements? Nah, not this time around. The 1904 Olympics were a goofy comedy flick in motion, with beats that even the most out-of-touch Hollywood producer would have written off as cheesy. The big one. How about the marathon wherein the organizer purposely denied people water, since he wanted to examine the effects of dehydration, and then, the winner of the race was a guy who started cramping, got a ride in a car, and then got out of the car just to cross the finish line. Yes, this was really the Olympics. Number Super 6, The London Beer Flood of 1814. Talk about beer abuse. This horribly real, tragic event is actually the very reason that brewers don't use large wooden vats. The so-called London Beer Flood of 1814 killed a shocking eight people, five of whom were mourning the loss of a dead two-year-old at the boys' wake. The brewery didn't get totally put out of business, the final verdict was that the whole thing was an accident, but the whole situation was an unmitigated, horrendous catastrophe that it's hard to believe really could have happened. And yet, it did. Let's just say, there was a lot of drunk people that day. Well that is it for now. If you like this video please subscribe and hit that like button. If you feel the need, we would love to hear from you. So please leave a comment below on how we did or didn't do. Super 6 out.